Okay. Hey guys, so I hope everything's visually good. Um, I'm going to try to be quick today. Um, my husband's, well, he didn't get home to like, like a half hour from now. But uh, I usually try to start supper like 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes before he gets home. So that it's ready when he gets home. And uh, here is this. Hold on. It's probably even worse. We're just, we'll just leave it. Just gonna leave it. Um, I'm, not, I'm going to try to be quick because of that. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted to get this done. I wanted to do this. Um, this is the last video in this series and maybe the last story time video for a while just because and I'm not going to go into detail because I am very emotional today. I'm already like starting to tear up. And it's not even there's not even a real thing to be emotional about. Like it's not there's anything big that's happened or anything, like any uh life changing thing that's happened today or anything, but I'm just an emotional hormone Thing, ball of hormones so from everything from being angry <laughs> frustrated easily at the kids that I was babysitting today and then talking about uh, talking to myself out loud about um, the reason why I'm not going why I may not be doing sort of videos for a while um, and then I don't know if you can see this blind these blinds back here um, I'll show you what the other one looks like, for how it's supposed to look like. But there's like a bar kind of at the bottom, or like a hard part at the bottom that's like just straight. And uh, like a, keep it stable and steady. Um, well that bar and the little, there's like a little thing, like a little lip on it that you, that's plastic that you, helps you pull things up and down, or pull the shades up and down. That's no longer there. Obviously the little girl that naps in here tore that off at some point, broke that off at some point, and that about also reduced me to tears. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try to focus on this story and, uh, yeah, I've already spent too much time. It's been like five minutes almost talking about just that. Um, so today's story time is my, uh, most recent previous, uh, non-current, <laughs> uh, job, and that was a nanny. So, um, it's really the only nanny, I mean, besides the live-in nanny job I had, uh, working for $100 a week, uh, for my brother that I've already talked about in a previous video. Aside from that, this is really the only nanny job I've had, the only nanny job, I've, the only nanny job I've had working for somebody that I wasn't related to. So, there's that. But, uh, I left the daycare that I talked about in the last video. I left the daycare and wanted to watch just like one kid. Um, one or two, you know, maybe a set of siblings, uh, one, two, or three, three at the most probably, um, and just watch them at their house and get to maybe take them places and kind of do our own thing, just kind of play and hang out. And uh, so that was kind of my thought going into this uh, nanny position. And it was a little, I think he was one, like 18 months, or somewhere between 18 months and two when I started working there. And he was closer to two and a half maybe when I left, I think. Um, so it was almost a year, not quite a year. Well, I started in December and of whatever year, and I think 2016. Yeah, December 2016 and ended like August or like June or July or something. I think it was like August of 2017. So, three quarters of a year. Uh, so, that was the... <laughs> that happened. But, uh, little boy, he was... Like I said, he was going on two when I started watching him. He could, of course, wa uh, watch walk when I started watching him. Um... But, uh, cognitively, like, as far as, like, what he knew and could say, um, like, his verbal, everything, all that kind of stuff, um, there was definitely progress between when I started and when I left, and that was great to see. Um, the downside, well, a couple downsides, 
uh, one of them, not the one I was going to say, but one thing that I, I knew off the bat, but I was hoping it wouldn't be a problem, and it was, it was a problem. I thought it might be, but I was hoping it wouldn't be. Uh, his dad, who is a really nice guy, he's great, I got along with him really well, he was just super nice, super easy to get along with, kind of reminded me of my brother, but he was just really friendly, and, really, and not like, really friendly, but, but he was just really nice, and uh, he often worked out of state for like a week or so at a time, sometimes more, but when he wasn't working out of state, the opposite week, he would be working from home, and... He had an office in the house, but the office was right off of the, the uh, living room. And so the little boy would see his dad and want to go in and talk to him and constantly wanted to see him and would often throw a fit if he couldn't. Um, and then his dad would sometimes let him come in anyway. And that just, it just wasn't a good situation. His dad, in my opinion, shouldn't have like maybe told like had certain times during the day which eventually I think ended up being the case but he should have just from the beginning had certain times during the day these are the times that that I will see you that we can that we can interact but the rest of the time I need to work and I understand that one year old doesn't understand that but at least if there was a schedule at least I could be like okay well this such and such time lunch whatever is coming up and you'll be able to see him then right now we're gonna do this but his dad just and if he would, if the boy cried, his dad would come out, and that just didn't. It kind of fed into him throwing a fit, and it just was frustrating because I couldn't let him be upset about anything with his without his dad interfering and like comforting him and be like, "Oh, it's okay," and blah blah blah. And it's like, no, it's really not okay. He's not allowed to do this thing. You can't. That was frustrating. So like. Um, Aside from the fact that his, he was distracted and wanting to see his dad, his dad also like kind of um, ended up being um, like kind of uh, what's it, like second guessing me or whatever, or like second, uh, I can't think of the word, but like I was supposed to be in charge and I would tell him something and his dad would like, that would change that and it was just super frustrating. His dad would like be like, oh no, he can do that or whatever. It's like, <sighs> it was so frustrating. Um, so that was a frustrating thing about the job, um, kind of those two things together. And then the the second thing that I was saying, um, the first thing I was going to say, was his mom. And his mom was nice enough. She wasn't a terrible person, but she was probably a type A person. She worked as, I don't really know what her official position was, but she worked at a bank and um, wasn't like a teller. She did something that involved meetings and she was like kind of in charge of certain people and sometimes she would work from home work from home too in that office. Uh, there were some times where they both worked from home. <laughs> anyway, um, but she continued to insist that, like even more and more so as time went on, that I'd be teaching him things. And so I tried to do a little bit of teaching. I mean, he's a one-year-old and eventually a two-year-old is not really much that you can like structurally teach a two-year-old because he's too young to really have structure yet um, but she wanted me to have lessons she wanted me to write out what he what we did each day what he learned and like I said I did eventually I did kind of eventually start in doing having like a schedule of like certain subjects that we would work on like shapes or colors or whatever um, at certain parts of the day and that would kind of help break up the day too but he didn't always want to do those things and you can't really make a kid a two-year-old sit and do things and uh, I was very like part of me wanting to be a nanny rather than be a teacher which is what I'm trained like I'm I went to college to do is that I didn't want to teach <laughs> I wanted I like kids and I want to be around kids but I don't want to teach kids um, and so it was just very frustrating and I'm, I'm qualified to teach like pre-K, which is probably like three or four, maybe, I don't know, maybe like four years old to third grade. And this kid's two. Um, he's not able to just sit and do things and he's not really even preschool age yet. So it was just frustrating. So I'm not qualified or trained really to, to teach, it's like teach officially teach a two-year-old and 
and then I didn't really want to. Um, so I tried to do little things based on what they had. I had them get some flashcards, and he was doing pretty good with the flashcards. I wrote down how many he had, and it was good to see like him learn more and be able to eventually do all of the flashcards in a certain deck type thing. But and it, like I said, it was good to see his progress through that time from when I started to when I ended. But it kind of got to the point where she eventually was like, oh, maybe you could do like a, I don't remember what she called it, but like a series or like a, oh, I can't remember what it is, but like where it would be like a week or a couple weeks long where it would all be all like based on dinosaurs, like numbers and shapes and colors and all that based on dinosaurs and like all that stuff and like art and I hate doing art, but I tried to do like some art stuff with him because I know his, his parents like to see it, but I just, I hate crafts. I do not like to do crafts, I do not like to do art. <laughs> it was just like where she was just, the dad didn't say much uh, except for like kind of trying to like re-mention what his wife mentioned um, as far as that went, but it was just so frustrating because I didn't, <laughs> that's not why I was a nanny. I wasn't a nanny to to be a teacher to a two-year-old. I was a nanny to be a nanny, <laughs> to be like a babysitter to a two-year-old. And <sighs> mind you, I did get paid a good amount. Well, just like pretty much $13 an hour. Um, and some days I would work 10 hours. So there were some checks for two weeks that, w that would be a little over a thousand dollars, which was really nice, especially compared to my current situation. But <sighs> I uh, eventually just decided that I just, it's not what I wanted and she was pushing it more and more towards what I didn't want to do. Um, so I just had to kind of not do it anymore because <laughs> I was just tired of, of uh, dealing with that and She's very, not aggressive, but just very type A, I don't know how else to describe it, and I'm very quiet. <laughs> and, uh, um, what's the word, um, introverted and all that jazz, so, <sighs> it's just very frustrating. And then of course the dad situation, he, like I said, he was very nice, I, talking with him was a lot less stressful than talking to the mom, but, uh, he would kind of go back, would change, uh, would go back on what I said to his son and let his son do something that I told his son he couldn't do and it just was, that wasn't good either. But uh, the little boy, he was, he was nice. I, I enjoyed being with him and he listened pretty well. I was, I'm kind of a more on the strict side I feel like when it comes to kids listening. I'm more on the strict side. Um, and I don't put up with tantrums and uh, stuff, so I think I'm good there. Um, that's kind of been good with what I'm doing now. Although lately, <sighs> I'm a little uptight, I think, and uh, the whole emotional thing going on, so there's that. But <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much the gist of it. I ended up leaving. They were really, they were good to me. They, like I said, they paid me really well. Um, a lot more than I got paid at the daycare, which is like nine something, from nine something to thirteen something for one kid compared to twelve kids. And, um, compared to getting like, I don't know, almost maybe two hundred a week now. Uh, not quite two hundred, but, uh, I think this week I'll get like one eighty, so that's close to two hundred. <laughs> but that compared to like... So that'd be like, we'll say 400 for two weeks compared to like a thousand for two weeks. It's like $800, no, $600 difference there. Uh, but anyway, aside from the money, um, I'm glad that I changed. <laughs> I mean, you, I, despite the money, I should say. Despite the money, I'm glad that I changed uh, jobs. But, and I, like I said, I did enjoy the little boy. I had some fun with him. He was cute. He made me laugh sometimes. Uh, but it just wasn't, what they wanted and what I wanted wasn't really fitting together. So, 
there was that. But um, I need to go down and start supper. And uh, if you really have some area of story time or something that you would like me to tell, um, or to see if I have a story on it or an opinion on it as far as stories go or something, or if you want me to elaborate on some, one of the stories that I've told before, um, I'd be happy to, or if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer those based on this story or any other story. Um, please comment below and let me know. Um, but just based on views and uh, comments on these videos, these story time videos, I'm pro and the fact that I have to set up my camera in order to do them, <laughs> and that's uh, more frustrating than just holding out a camera to vlog. Um, but if you guys somehow are really interested in more story times, then I will try to oblige. But uh, for now, this will be the last story time for a little while, so I'll see you later.